I'm Judy Shaw for NYSC Floor Talk. Joining me today is Robert Picconi. He is the chairman, CEO, and co-founder of Energy Vault. Robert, it is great to see you. Thanks for joining me on the floor for Floor Talk. Judy, it's great to be here. What a great day. So tell me about Energy Vault and your mission. Well, look, our mission has always been decarbonization. That's how we founded the company. And we're solving one of the biggest problems in the world, which is addressing climate change. And we're solving it through addressing intermittency of renewables. Uh, inter inter uh, renewables are much cheaper than fossil fuel today. The problem is they come at the wrong time, so you need cost-effective and sustainable energy storage, and that's what we do. Okay, so now tell me, how does your technology work? You know what, we are leveraging gravity, which is the basis of 90% of all energy storage. So are these large pumped hydroelectric dams. We're taking that process of gravity, and we designed and innovated a way to build structures to mirror the process of the raising and lowering in this case of composite bricks, so we take excess wind and solar when it's not needed by the grid. That excess wind and solar raises these massive composite bricks up to height. And then sitting at height, that's all potential energy, just like your physics classes, go back to your high school times. When we need that energy back to the grid, we have AI software fully automated that lowers those bricks, it turns motors, and generates that electricity back to the grid. Okay, so talk to me more about the problem you're solving for. Well, look, uh, energy storage has been a very difficult problem to solve. And uh, a little known fact, uh, it's very cheap to create electrons these days. So, and wind and solar, as I mentioned, one to two cents a kilowatt hour, much cheaper than fossil fuel. The problem is storage. Uh, the problem is to store energy, it costs multiples of the number than it does to generate it. Because of that, there's been a lot of focus now and innovation going towards solving this problem. We all know lithium ion for your computer electronics, for electric cars. A difficult technology for utility scale, uh, but there's a lot of it being deployed. Uh, so we wanted to develop a solution that was an alternative, that was sustainable, that was ultra low cost, and something that you could basically deploy anywhere to get um, the planet off of fossil fuels. It's, a, it's an urgency, we felt it from the beginning. Uh, I would say that in general, the market is late. We haven't been in innovated enough, I think, as a, as a technology, as a market, as a group, as an industry to solve this problem. Uh, and we're just very excited now to be at the cusp of just executing our plan with all the capital, of course, from this wonderful event today. Right, and you rang the opening bell a short while ago to yes. celebrate this milestone, yeah. becoming yeah. a publicly traded company. Yeah. What's next now that you're publicly traded? Well, for us, we're in a great position because it's about execution. For us, that means to customers. So this means we're gonna be deploying all over the world, the US, the Middle East, Australia, and also we announced a very important deal in China. You know. Um, China is the largest emitter of greenhouse gases by over a factor of two. Uh, they have a plan to uh, increase through 2030. So they're planning to increase greenhouse gases through 2030, not getting to net carbon neutral till 2060. And we just can't let that happen. There are no walls in the countries. Uh, the greenhouse gases go all over the world. Uh, we really felt it was an imperative for us to get into China and to help them accelerate that timeline that they outlined. Okay, well, congratulations on your Thank NYSC you. listing. That's great. And thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Thank, thank you, and uh, thank you to all my employees here that helped us get here. It's a pleasure to support them and a privilege, and thank you all very much.